is no doubt there's no doubt we are in for big and bigger trouble with the statement made by tinumbu that uh, insecurity has reduced under buhari can the supporters agree to this fact all those who are supporting and cheering him can they tell us that uh, uh, insecurity has really reduced under this government just like uh, that is what uh, tinumbu is saying can they come out and say it is true because they are just supporting nonsense this man has said it times with such number that is going to continue from where Buhari stops and also is doing that defending him here and there everything you talk about a uh, everything has just everything has gone wrong and he said he's going to start and we'll continue from there and those who are cheering him up will not want to agree to this because they are really suffering but what would they do this man said he's going to stop or continue from there so what changes are these people now talking about or what difference is he going to make that they are cheering him up ahmed bola tenubu the all progressive congress apc presidential candidates have stated that president buhari's president muhammadu buhari has reduced the insecurity challenge he met when he was elected in 2015. that is one thing that is even that baffles me we see the reality but they tell you something different and you begin to wonder are they talking about this same country that we are we are in or that we are experiencing one or two things or is there something that these guys are not seeing according to punch tinubu said this in an interview with the bbc on tuesday tinubu speaking on how president Buhari's administration has tackled insecurity said it has decreased i will stand up for him then there were 17 then there were 17 local governments and about four states in nigeria were being had flags of foreign jihadists that is no longer the case it is simple to start chaos it is more difficult to restore normalcy and uh, redecorate buhari has degraded but not completely eliminated his fab they will speak briefly about leather weapons and ammunition as well as technological equipment that could have aided in the cleanup the west has yet to feel secure enough in ibuari administration to sell us the necessary arms and technology wow bravo mm. we begin to clap these are the things that uh, when it talks about the unreasonable people begin to talk you say oh yes they will clap they will say no it will, they will clap you will say come they will clap unnecessarily and it's so irritating well some of uh, you the supporters you have heard what he said can you attest to the what he's saying now that we have farmers who cannot go to farms they are telling us these guys have straight has have changed strategy you are telling us that uh, they are not holding a uh, how many uh, they are not holding uh, any local government meanwhile they are in charge of a lot a, a lot of local government in the north that they are people are paying taxes where people or farmers paying taxes to bandits or whether you swap in the administration of pdp they were not paying taxes to bandits their other governments now they are trying to hold a beer france high pop members that they are doing this they are doing that that they want to divide this country that uh, they are threats to national security and meanwhile there's another government going on in this country by bandits this man has been saying a lot of things Toji Bello, who are supposed to be the leader of these bandits they've not been able to arrest him they've not been able to do anything people are paying heavily the issue of kidnapping is now rampant in this administration Antony is coming out to tell us that uh, the issue of insecurity has been reduced reduced way they are telling you lies and that is the problem i'm having with uh, these supporters of uh, tinubu i'm not even talking about the politicians though, because those ones say uh, they are eating from you know with their two hands they are being heavily paid so they can say whatever they want to say but then imagine all those uh, ordinary people on the street who are still defending them who are the people bearing the bronze if that is the painful aspect of it so what this man is saying can we say of a fact that is saying the right thing? Can we say so? Can we say so? They will tell you that economy is good and they will just want to put the caveat that uh, it is a global phenomenon or it's a global thing uh, that uh, 
they have done their best, but uh, it is global issue, and you will you clap for them. Ah, presently the kind of Nigeria we are in uh, is not a place where sane people can really stay, honestly. Because some things that are abnormal, you begin to see them as normal. By default, you just begin to accept them like that. Because that is the narrative they are selling. You can see now, debate now has become a big issue. That's, you just go there, you see what you want to say, you get at. The same man who is saying that he doesn't want uh, the Nigerian media to make money off it. He's uh, uh, granting an interview with BBC. But are they not making money off it? What arrogance? Nigerians needs to teach this man this man is so arrogant that if he gets there he's going to be worse than he's going to be worse than even the military era this person <laughs> yeah 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 mm. nigerians god even showed them the opportunity to see the the stuff buari is made of in 2019 even the during the well i don't know what they call it when a, a journalist from the nca interviewed him we, you saw it we saw it but yes, people see went ahead to do what they need to do. But some people are of the opinion that oh, it is not true. We didn't vote him. They did this. They did the uh, the rigging and what have you. Like I've always said, you cannot build something on nothing. It's there must be something, whether it is good foundation or not. But there must be something that you build something on. If these people can be telling us this kind of a thing, huh? Ah, we are in for bigger trouble. He said everything is fine. So them, they have done well. That is the audacity for me. That is the audacity for me. They are telling you everything is fine. So why are you complaining? What is the big deal? You are not seeing things from their own perspective. They will tell you sorry. And the man at which this, especially this Ekiyamu, that man, he, he baffles me. He said Sinubu went to Kasam House for, you know, Assuming the position of the president, that that is how it's all to be. Changing the narratives. Changing the narratives is so, 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 so bad. Now, farmers are paying heavily for them to assess their farm. It is now a, a, a new thing. And it is rampant there in the north. Nobody's doing anything. And this one is coming to tell us that they were holding flags. And that is the main reason why... These people really need to be asked questions. Even if you ask them questions, what Nigerians can really do is to let, they should, they should not allow this man to come on board. If he does, <laughs> if he does, Oyo is your own. Oyo is everybody's own. Mm. Yes, sir. If they allow this man to come, you know, you know, you know, you know, you do. Really, you are saying that uh, insecurity has been reduced. Has insecurity been contained under Buari? He said yes. He says yes. Hmm. Like I said, we are in for big, big, big problems. 